Okay, welcome back to Cooking with Bill. Still haven't gotten a better name, so that's what we're gonna use for right now. Doing a very, very quick video on how to make guacamole. A lot of people have asked about this, so I'm gonna talk about it real quick. Basically, you got a few ingredients. You got avocados, they come in different sizes, different brands, Haas makes a good one. The way you can tell a good avocado is if you take the end that the stem is on, if you look inside, this is actually going to be a little bit green, but it's not going to be real, real green, and it's not going to be dead. If it's dead, you know it's an old avocado, so you want to have that to have a little bit of nice uh, color to it. So you're going to take your avocado, be very careful with your knife, you're going to slice around the seed like that. See how that pulls apart really nicely? Now the next thing you have to be careful with, because this sends more people to the hospital than not, is how to get the seed out. So if you press down on the seed like that, you can twist it and the seed will come out just like this. Now when you take it off, be careful, just press against it and the seed will come out. You can actually put this in water and grow another one if you want. Now, if you don't want to do it that way, the other way is just take a spoon carve around the seed if you're afraid of using your knife and it'll come out that way. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take the pulp out. Easiest way to do that is take a spoon, just go around the inside, completely empty, really ready to use. You can do scoring on the inside if you want to take your knife, but for this you don't need to. Now I'm going to do the rest of these without having you sit around and watch all that. Now we're going to have tomatoes. I've got about one medium tomato that I've diced. I've taken cilantro, taken however much you like. Some people don't like cilantro. They say it tastes like soap. So it just depends on whether you like cilantro or not. The only other things we're going to use, we're going to use a red onion. Some people use a white onion. We're going to have some salt and pepper. And we're going to have the juice of at least one lime. Now, a couple things. When you're doing work with trying to dice up an onion. So here's an onion. I like red onions. Some people use white sweet onions. What I do is I come down and I'll slice it about three quarters of the way through. Now, if you want to do it like the chefs do, they actually set it on the side and slice this way. I find for beginners, it's better to stand it up on end and slice down, but you can do it either way. Then you make this score down through the top. So now we've cut along the ridges here. And now when you cut, Again, keeping your fingertips curled, you have this wonderful small diced onions. So you don't have to do a whole lot of work and you'll have some nice onions. Now if you have some residuals at the end, you can do that rocking motion that I showed you in some of my other videos just to chop it up. So that's how you're going to get your onions done. So if you're doing it this way, slice horizontally. Again, be careful, it is a sharp knife. If you're not using a sharp knife, get it sharpened. Okay. Curling your fingers in. Now, if you don't like doing it that way, you can always just cut it into strips and then dice it the slow way. Just depends on what you like. And it also depends on how tiny you like them. But there we go. That's one diced onion in a couple minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the avocados. We'll get them ready for you. And then I'll put this all together and we'll see our guacamole. So I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, we've kind of prepped it. We've gotten all of the, uh, the avocados pitted and into the bowl here. Had about six or so, just depends on how much you want to do. Last thing we're going to do is put in the lime. Now, if they're not very juicy, Tend, I tend to roll them on a board, just try to break it up a little bit. You can stick them in the microwave for maybe 15, 20 seconds. But you want to get a decent amount of acid in here, so that's why we're using lime juice. If for some reason you don't, can't find good limes at the store, you can always get the lime juice concentrate. It looks like a lime uh, that you find in the store sometimes. And you could use that instead. I've used that in a pinch. Same with uh, cilantro. If you can't find good cilantro, you could always find the cilantro paste that you can get and put that in. And again, just depends on whether you like cilantro or not. Now, the other thing that people put in guacamole that I'm not doing is some people like to put in 
uh, a hot pepper, like a jalapeno or something like that. My wife does not like hot peppers, but if you do put in peppers, you have a couple things that you can do. You're going to slice that pepper around. There is There are seeds in there. You want to take a spoon, scrape out those seeds unless you really like it hot. And also the white membrane inside the pepper is very hot as well. So you want to take that out as well. And then you'll be able to use the pepper just dicing it up really small. Now I'm going to put a little bit of salt. Salt's good in about everything. And then I use a, a decent amount of crushed black pepper. This is my heat. So black pepper is not really very hot. But I put enough in there so you can flavor it. I'm going to put in the tomatoes. We're going to put in the red onions that we've done. Now again, depends on your taste for cilantro. I like cilantro, so I'm putting a lot in. And then what I typically will do is I'll just use a, a masher like you do for potatoes. And if your avocados are ripe enough, this works quite well. And again, all you're doing is incorporating all the flavors and breaking down the guacamole or the avocados into a creamy state as opposed to being just big blocks of avocado. Now, I will say, depends on when you get your avocados, whether you're going to get some really nice ones. When you buy them from the store, when you buy them from the store, you can always check to see how ripe they are. If they're not ready, then you can leave them in a paper bag for a couple days, just like you do with other types of fruits, and it will end up being just right for you when you get ready for it. So, if you can see, there is our guacamole. It only took you a few minutes to make this. Put it on some chips if you want to. If you don't do chips, you can do it on uh, crackers. You could do it on some bread. It's also really good on sandwiches. So, real quick guacamole for you. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Again, subscribe to my channel, like, share, whatever you'd like to do with this. I'm also trying to make sign language interpreted videos for this if you like that please let me know, as well as uh, we're going to try to do more things, so give me ideas for things you'd like to see cooked, as well as maybe if you like a better name than Cooking with Bill. So I hope you enjoyed it. As always, we'll see you back in the kitchen.